And again, this will be two weeks from the day of your surgery that you'll be doing this. How's your foot doing? Great. It's been two weeks now since the day of your surgery? Ten days. Ten days? Okay. So, so what we're going to do here is take your bandage off. We're going to take those little Steri strip butterfly bandages off, uh, get your incision cleaned up, and get your sutures out. Great. You've been wearing your boot all the time? I have. Good. When you're taking these steri strips off here, these butterfly bandages, you want to peel these towards the incision from the outside, just up to where the incision is, and then peel them along the incision. You don't want to come across the incision this way because you can actually pull on the incision and, and cause it to gap slightly. Pull it up to the incision like this, and then along with the incision this way. And these two suture, uh, two uh, steri strips here at the end of the incisions that are going with the in, uh, incision are holding down the end of that suture. It's a clear, looks like a little fishing line right here. And this is what uh, the suture material is made out of that's underneath your skin. So you can see there's two ends here. There's one end here coming out of this end of the incision. And there's another end right here coming out of this end of the incision. And it goes in at one end here and zigzags back and forth underneath the skin and comes out here. And then it's pulled taut like a drawstring. And that's what's keeping that incision together. So what you're going to do, again, take this piece of suture here, pull it out just slightly, just a couple millimeters out this way, and then cut it as close to the skin as possible. And the rest of it will sink back underneath the skin. Do the same thing here. Pull it out slightly and cut it as close to the skin as possible. And that's it. The rest of the suture material will stay underneath the skin and that'll be absorbed. I'm just going to clean this incision up here. This is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. This just helps clean up a lot of the extra dry blood. And then wipe the incision in the surrounding area down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Just make sure the skin is nice and clean here because you're going to be replacing those steri strips, those little butterfly bandages that we had on there. This is a little bit of adhesive spray. This is going to help the little steri strips to stick. If you don't have this at home, don't worry, that's fine. You can just use the steri strips by themselves. You just may have to replace them a little bit more frequently. You just lay these on the incision starting at one end at 90 degrees to the incision. And just spread them out. You can leave a little space between each one. You want to get uh, pretty much the entire incision covered with these. All right, and that's it with the steri strips. Now, these little pieces of tape you'll leave on. You can get these wet in the shower. Uh, you'll notice that they'll probably start to peel up the corners. That's fine. Let them fall off. If you don't have that adhesive spray at home and they fall off in a day or two, just replace them. We want you to wear them for at least a week after you take the sutures out. Okay. Okay. We're also going to have you start wearing this removable bandage here. And this bandage you can take on and off yourself. We want you to wear it anytime you're up and about walking around. You can take it off at night when you go to bed. And of course you'll take it off for the shower. So it's just going to give a little bit of compression right around the uh, the foot and a little bit of protection uh, on the incision. And this is a self-adhesive bandage. You can find this at the drugstore. It just sticks to itself. You just need to go around once or twice with medium tension 
just again to give it a little bit of compression. And the sock will make it easy for you to slide on and off. You just take it here by the sides, just like this, and just slide it off like a sock. Okay. When you put it back on, you'll put it on the same way. Just open it up real wide, slide it down onto your foot. Make sure the top of the bandage here is below where your toes meet your foot. You don't want it sitting up here pushing on your toes like this. You just want it down here around your foot. 